hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step makeup simple makeup tutorial for beginners and as you can see i'm brushing out my eyebrows is that with the eyebrows and i'm using a mascara wand that i got with um, a bunch of them like 10 of them they are less than 100 shillings they are very affordable so in this video i'm going to use affordable makeup that you can use to achieve a full makeup look if you are a beginner and i'll show you how to use them so for the eyebrows you take your eye pencil i use a 018 david's eye pencil and uh, you're going to start filling lightly towards the inner corner just to make it look more natural so make sure the eye pencil is well sharpened for you to achieve the the desired look and to make it look more natural so after that you're going to line up uh draw a line below the eyebrow and above the eyebrow to get the shape that you desire according to your face shape and that's how i do mine as you can see and then i'll just fill in where i feel the eyebrows are sparse in the eyebrow just to give it a the perfect shape so after you achieve the desired shape you can always go back with the concealer and correct your mistakes or to make the eyebrow look more sharp and uh, i use the illegal concealer in a uh, phone and chestnut or cocoa on the upper side but on the lower side i like to use a brighter concealer just to bring out the eye and they and make the eyebrow look more um, more posh and bright so you're going to use a brush and you can also use your hand to diffuse the concealer onto your skin yeah on the upper side you can use a darker color or the the color that matches your skin tone on the upper side or just use your foundation and uh, there's no there's no limit to what you can use but you can use a foundation or a concealer that matches your face complexion and that's it with the eyebrows i hope you've got all the tips so now i'm using this palette that i got it's super affordable and you can get this because um, it has the eyeshadows it has the blush it has a highlighter it has powders so when you buy this palette it will be very good i'm also going to be using these brushes that i also got we are, they are very super affordable i think 100 500 bob or so to for the eyeshadows so this is the palette this is the color that i'll be using today the light pink one and then the lighter pink one i will be using those three colors for my eyeshadow look today so i always start from the outermost corner with using the darkest color that i'm using that day you always start from the darkest to the brightest color towards the inner corner so tap 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 on the eyelid so that the color gets in i like how the how pigmented the eyeshadow is and considering how affordable the, that palette was and it's uh, super multifunctional you can always get it super affordable you can get one So after applying the eyeshadow, I always go in with a more natural looking color uh, to, to make the colors blend, to blend the colors and to also blend the concealer and the eyeshadow just to fix the line that is quite visible if you leave it like that. So blend, blend all the colors together and then uh, the eyeshadow will look more natural.
so to do your full face makeup you need to use the eyeliner and that is the one that i'll be using super affordable and the eyelashes that i got there are 10 pairs for like um 500 and i really like them because they're in different shapes so now we are going to do the eyeliner just look down and start from the outer corner of the eye and draw a line and then you're going to bring it inward like so in small strokes or if you are that careful you can do in just one line and it will be fine so for today i'm not going to do the eyeliner even towards completely towards the inner corner i'll just bring it to the center of my eye and leave it like that i like that shape that way so i would i am doing the same to the other eye and that's how it came out and i really like the shape of the eyeliner so this is very important for your simple makeup tutorial when you're doing your makeup glam or a soft glam makeup tutorial as a beginner you need to do you need to know how to do your eyeliner so if you have if your eyelashes are um, close together or not straight you can use this um equipment you can use it to straighten out the it's called an eyelash color you can use it to curl the lashes outward and make them straight so it's very easy for you when you are putting on the the force or the forces the force eyelashes so that is the glue that i'll be using for my lashes today and these are the lashes that i picked from the bunch that i showed you to you guys that are 10 they are super simple because i wasn't going uh, pretty um, uh, everywhere i was just going to be at home so i took the most simple eyelashes and this is the foundation that i'll be using it's the maybelline stain matte foundation and that's a blender that i'm going to use to blend my foundation so you're going to use the primer before you apply the foundation for it to last longer and to have you know just have somewhere for the foundation to sit so that you can set for the whole day without you having to worry about it all these products i got them at the boy so they're really simple that is the what i use to attach my eyelashes you can get the equipment at the boys or just in a beauty shop and they are quite affordable so you are going to start at the center make sure the eyelash attaches at the center and then you are going to attach it at the inner corner and then towards the outer corner of the eye you can see having it attached at the center gives you a root to hold the the eyelash so that you can work at the inner corner and then on the outer corner make sure you're looking down make sure your mirror is down and you're looking on it that rather than looking straight into the mirror that way it will be very easy for you if you're doing a makeup tutorial as a beginner and you want to put on your eyelashes it will be very easy for you when you look down and you apply them so all these products you need them if you're a beginner you need this eyelash color you need this one i forgot the name the one for applying the eyelashes yes that's all you will need so that you can do a full a full face makeup using simple affordable products So after you are done the eyelashes, then you are going to go to the foundation. Nowadays, I usually put some on my palm, on my hand, and then I just uh, blend it using the uh, beauty blenders. The beauty blenders are very affordable. You can buy them in packs or just one. They are super affordable. So that is what I use to... Some people also like to buy brushes to ap apply the foundation. But I really love the beauty blenders. They make my work easier when I'm blending the foundation. So I really love this shade of the foundation. But I think I'll go a little bit lighter next time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So when choosing for your foundation, uh, make sure it matches your neck. You can check your chest area. And that's the color that you should get so that your face can match with the with the chest and neck when you're applying the foundation a 
after applying the foundation then you're going to use concealer and that is the brush that i'm using is the flat black brush that you are going to use when applying the concealer just apply to the inner corner and outside the uh, towards the outer corner and then on the, on the bridge of your nose on the cupid bow and on the chin and on your forehead this will give your face structure and uh, make your face look snatched i'm also going to apply a darker concealer on the nose just to contour just to contour the nose and then i'll use it on my face to make sure my face is snatched so for that for contouring you use a darker shade than the one you applied on the on the chin and on the forehead and on your nose i'm going to use a darker color for you to contour so now just blend blend the concealer blend it out so that your face can look more uniform and uh, it will give you a good structure on your face when you when you're doing a simple makeup tutorial I really love how eyeliners just shape your eyes and so now I'm going to use the, this eyeliner on my on my waterline which I really love and I love how it makes my eyes pop even more and give my eyes even a more beautiful shape so you can get it also it's super affordable I think it's less than 500 bob so you can get yourself one just to complete your makeup glam when you're doing a full face makeup after that you can decide to go in with your mascara this is mascara wand i really love the small ones because they give the eyelashes a deeper definition when you use them compared to the ones that are quite big i really like the small ones because they like make the eyelashes pop and then on the lower line i usually look towards the other side so that i can see the small eyelashes better so that is how i do them when you tilt to the other side you can see them clearly and so you can be able to apply the mascara better so now i'm going to use the blush i'm falling in love with blushes nowadays so yeah this is the one it is from the palette that i showed you guys earlier the palette that is multifunctional the the one that i'm using is in pink so i loved it and loved how it came out when i applied it so when you make mistakes when applying the mascara, you can use these um, cotton buds uh, to, to rub anything that fell on the skin. So that is the contour palette that I'm going to use as a powder for my face after doing my makeup. It has a lot of colors that are very beautiful. So you can get that palette and it will help you a lot in contouring and even use it as a powder. So as a beginner, you are going to make use of products in multifunctional way if you don't have all the products you might need so yeah i can use that one for contour and also for as a powder after i'm done with my makeup so back to the palette that i was using i'm going to now take the highlighter i'm going to highlight on my cheeks and on my nose on my forehead on my chin and on my cupid bow just to bring out that um oomph to the makeup i really love highlighters and how they make the whole another area that i like to highlight is uh, on my eyebrows after i'm done with them it really helps uh, when you're especially taking pictures it really give you the glow when you turn your face to the side and give you a very beautiful outcome so you can try that tip next time when you're doing a simple makeup or everyday makeup as a beginner and uh, let me know how it works out for you 
So by now I should have set my concealer but I forgot which I did off camera. So now I went with the lipstick. I chose this color and uh, after applying I thought it was too bright and out of uh, you know. So I took a, a darker pink and uh, blended them together just to make it work because I didn't want to redo the whole thing and it came out super quite good and cute so that is the palette that I got it has like a 20 plus colors of the lipstick and I think it was a thousand bob so it's much affordable than getting um, lipsticks each 1k each so that is me now going in with the concealer to uh, correct any mistakes that I have done when applying the lipstick and uh, you can do this tip if you're not uh, quite good or if you're still a beginner in makeup you can use it and um, it will help you to get the best look when you apply the lipstick and that is the final look after I applied the lipstick let me know guys if you enjoyed this tutorial and if I should mo do more of this or which kind of videos you'd like to see me do and um I hope you enjoyed this simple, affordable makeup look for beginners. And uh, I will see you guys in another video. You can also check me out on TikTok. I go by its Nemo hyphen. And uh, these are the kind of videos that I post also. So if you want to learn more about makeup, follow me. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, share to your friends. And I really appreciate it so much. And I'll see you in another video.